Hi guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to make a clicker game in Scratch. So mine's called Poke Clicker. So yeah, it's a Pokemon clicker game. So at first we got this really cute Pikachu with a cool animation and we got Pokeballs when we click Pikachu and we got the glow effect, we got different achievements and we got a really cool skull counter we got this cloud thing which shows the world record and the world record holder and it's me and we got a really awesome Pokemon still where we could buy different Pokemons and also buy upgrades so there are two types of upgrade called CPC and CPS so CPC means clicks per click and CPS means click per second. So you can see we could just buy two Pikachus. And we also got the po gold Pokeball which increases our scope. And now we could buy a new character so I'll buy Snivy. And you can see we got Snivy. So the banner and the background changes its color according to the Pokemon we pick. So that's really cool. And I just added this follow thing. So let's get started. So smash that like button and make sure to subscribe and turn on all the notifications. So first things first, make sure you download or remix the starter project by clicking on the link in the description. So after opening the starter project, you could see we got 15 sprites. And we got two backdrops, our game backdrop and our shop backdrop. So let's start coding. So the first thing you need to do is click on the thumbnail sprite and hide it. And then you get to see we got this Pokemon sprite, the banner sprite, glow and our Pokeball background sprite. So first click on backdrops and let's make some variables. So click on variables and let's make some variables. The first one called cash. And then we need to make pokeball per second. And then our click power. And a variable called times click and a variable called cash spin. So all of these five variables are for all sprites. So now go to events and when green flag click, we need to set all of these variables to zero. And then we need to set our click power to just one. And now click on the thumbnail sprite and let's make two new variables called timer for all sprites and frame time for all sprites. And when green fact clicked, we need to set our timer variable to zero and forever we need to change our timer by timer and duplicate and we need to change our frame type also by timer and forever we need to reset timer so make sure you set frame time to timer not change frame time so we need to set our frame timer to timer and we need to change our timer variable by the scratch time so now you can see we could get an input like this and I will show the timer of the scratch so if you need to use the timer you could use with this variable so now let's uncheck all and then when green flag click forever we need to wait until 
not mouse down and then we need wait until mouse down and then we need to broadcast a new message called click so okay now click on the pokemon sprite and then we got 13 costumes so make sure you switch to pikachu because we'll start the game with pikachu so you could add anything you want so when green flag click we need to show and switch costume to pikachu forever we need to go to x negative 1 and y negative 35 which is here and then we need to make an animation so for that point in direction grab a plus operator at times then grab a abs of and another times operator so it's 90 plus sing of timer times 100 times 10 so now you can see we got this really cool animation so the next thing is to change our size when we are touching the mouse pointer for that grab a if else statement and a lesser than so if distance to mouse pointer is lesser than 75 then we need to change our size by grab a divide a minus so it's thousand minus size times hundred else we need to change our size by 800 so now you can see 800 is our original size and if you are touching the mouse pointer our size increases so in the costume editor you can see our Pikachu is really really small so it's only 22 into 23 pixels so make sure you keep between that range to 30 30 pixels to get a really smooth animation and always we need to go to fun layer and we need to go backward one layer and the next thing is when i receive click grab if statement duplicate we need to change our size by 100 broadcast a new message or click pokemon and then click ok and i can see if we click pikachu the size increases so that's a really cool animation and the next thing is again click on the thumbnail sprite and when i receive click pokemon then we need to change our cache by click power and then we need to change our times click by one so and i can check the cache and time clicked variables so now you can see our cache increases with the number of times we click and now when green flag click we need to forever change our cache by grab to divide operators pokeball per set divide by one divide by frame type so this would increase our cache by click per second so make a view variable called pokeball per second timer for all sprites and then we need to change this timer by our frame time and grab a if statement grab a not lesser than 1 
So if Pokeball per second timer is not lesser than 1, then we need to set our Pokeball per second timer to just 0. So now make sure you tick the cache variable and Pokeball per second variable. And then make sure you run your code. And now we just grab this block and set our Pokeball per second to 1 and make sure you click it. And now you can see our cache increases by 1 per second. So now you can just stop this and remove this and uncheck the both of the variable. And now we're gonna code this glow. So now click on the sprite called glow. And when green flag click forever, we need to go to Pokemon. And then we need to point in direction. Grab this timer variable. Timer times 8. And we need to set our size to 900. So the glow is really small too. It's just 34 to 34 pixels. And then we need to go to back layer. And now you can see we got this really awesome glow animation. So in our original game, the banner and the background changes its color according to the Pokemon we choose. So now it's just green. So to fix that, click on the backdrop sprite. And the first thing you need to do is go for loops and grab this block. And then you could go for five, duplicate change color effect by negative 5 and then if you need you could just set the brightness effect to like 20 and now you could click on this block and then click on any of these two blocks and check the best color so 5 means it's increasing and negative 5 means it's decreasing so now you can see this color is really matching for Pikachu. So what you need to do is to record the color. And when we in fact click, we need to switch backdrop to normal. Set our brightness effect to 20. And then we need to set our color effect to negative 55. So yellow was negative 55. So now you can see we got the yellow color background. So you could choose any color you want by these two blocks. And then record it and then add it to the set color block. So now let's do the same thing to our banner. When green flag click we need to go to X negative 18 and Y 164. Switch costume to the normal one. And we need to clear graphic effects first, so make sure you grab this clear graphic effects first. And then we need to set our color effect to negative 55 and set our brightness effect to 20. And then we could show. And I can see our banner and background really match the theme. So what you could do is click on the banner and before the set brightness block we could set our ghost effect to 20. So it gives a more like a transparent look. So now it's really awesome. So now I'll be showing you how to code the pokeballs. So click on this pokeball sprite and we got a really small, really really small costume which is just 7 into 7 pixels. So when green flag click, click on variables and we need to make a new variable called clone for this sprite only. And then we need to set our clone variable to 0 and we need to hide. And whenever we see you click Pokemon, grab the if statement equals 0. 
so if clone equals zero then we need to create clone of myself and then when i start as a clone and then when i start as a clone we need to set our clone to one and then we need to make four new variables called x well for this sprite only y well x and y for this sprite only and then we need to set our x well variable to pick random for negative 10 to 10 Point zero and then we need to repeat until grab a lesser than so if abs of x well greater than 3 then we need to set our x well variable to pick random for negative 10 to 10 and then we need to set our y well variable to pick random from 15 to 17.0 and then we need to go to pokemon we need to set our x and y to our x and y position so click on motion x position and y position and then we need to show and make a new variable called direction for this sprite only and then we need to set direction to 90 and then we need to repeat until our y is lesser than negative 210 it means touching the bottom of the screen then we need to change our direction by grab a times a divide and a abs of so it's x well divide by abs of x well times 8 and then we need to set our size to 1 billion so it's just 1 and 9 zero And then we need to change our y well by negative 1. And again set our x well to x well times 0 0.95. And finally we need to point in direction direction variable and we need to go to x x and y to y and we need to change our x and y variable by x well and y well and then we need to set our size to just 400 and finally we need to delete this flow so now you can see our pokeball works so that's it for this video so if you want to make awesome pokemon battle games like this click any of these videos